Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great night tonight. Night here, day, if you're watching during the day. We're going to be looking at differences between the Legacy Standard Bible, John MacArthur, Master's College primarily, and the King James Bible representative of Bible text in all Reformation languages down through the centuries and the overwhelming majority of Greek manuscripts. So we're in the general epistles and we're going to start out with uh, 1 John 5 13. We're going to see if there's any differences. Again, thanks for being here. General epistles, seven general epistles, 5 13 of uh, 1 John. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. That's in the King James 5.13 here. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Stops right there. And that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Showing the purpose for the writing just like in the Gospel of John. So it leaves out basically 13 words, which is huge. All right, 1 John 5.8. 1 John 5, 8. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. That's King James. In the Legacy Standard Bible, the spirit and the water and the blood and the three are in agreement. You can see that it is missing several, several words there. Uh, a total of nine words. And then we go to... Uh, 4.9 of 1st John a very important theological word is missing begotten in most translations we'll see if it is in the legacy standard I actually didn't check it out beforehand and this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him monogamy's begotten flesh all right beginning by this, the love of God was manifested in us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might live through him. So the legacy standard actually nailed that one. So that is a good thing. Um, let's check it out and see some others here. 4.3 and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Let's see, it nailed the last one. Let's see if it nails this one. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. Oh, no. Come in the flesh. Come in the flesh. God was manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16, even though they mess that one up too. Um, this is the spirit of the Antichrist of which you have heard that is coming and now is already in the world. Look at the theology of this. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. So I just say Jesus, he's the 12th Brahman and he's the 11th Mahdi. And, uh, stop, stop. So Jesus come in the flesh. Jehovah's salvation is in the flesh. All right, so big difference there and let's go to 316 316 says this in the King James it says hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and then it continues on who laid down his life for us God remember Acts 20 28 it's the blood of God 2028 I just did my mom thing there she used to do that um, 316 by this we have known love that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren leaves out God who did that I'll read it again hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us so there's a lot of differences check out our other comparison videos of various translations you might find it interesting check out our ESV video the book of Revelation with King James and it gives all the necessary caveats God bless we love you talk with you later bye bye